Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about ECL NOR or OR gate. <coughs> ECL stands for emitter coupled logic. Emitter coupled logic. That means in this particular configuration logic families, we are using bipolar junction transistors where the emitters are coupled together. Okay. Generally, for making this particular ECL logic, we are using first stage. We are using three transistors in the succeeding stages we have two more transistors so totally five transistors are there the first three transistors are coupled at their emitters that's why it is emitter coupled logic this emitter coupled logic mainly used to design either or gate or nor gate that means um, in the last stage we are getting nor operation before that stage we will be up, uh, having our operation that means the last transistor is acting as an inverter. Okay, I will. Uh, you can better understand when you go into the circuit diagram. <coughs> so emitter coupled logic, which is also known as current mode logic, it is also known as. It is also known as current mode logic. Current mode logic. Or current steering logic current steering logic because the entire operation is completely based on the current that is flowing through these three transistors first stage three transistors okay suppose if you see emitter couple logic I told you the emitters are being coupled together among the existing log logic families like a TTL, ECL and remaining logic families, this ECL is having highest power consumption. Power dissipation is very high and the cost is also very high uh, for this emitter couple logic family. Okay. Uh, in non-saturated logic, it is in non-saturated logic. Previously, we have seen uh, uh, the uh, TTL logic family mainly operated in saturated logic family saturated logic family means the transistors are completely on completely off okay we are operating at the extreme ends but whereas in the emitter couple logic we are completely operating in non saturation logic non saturation logic that means the voltage levels are fixed we are giving the voltage logic levels in such a way that the transistors will not be going into the non saturation logic and currents are kept high currents whatever the currents flowing through the transistors currents kept high that is the reason why we are calling it as current steering logic or current mode logic okay and the output impedance is low and output impedance is also impedance is low <coughs> And the stray capacitance can be quickly charged and discharges. Stray capacitance. Stray capacitance means which is not a physical capacitance. We are not connecting any capacitance in the circuit. But due to contacts, we will be having some capacitance. Because of that contact, the existing capacitance is known as stray capacitance. That stray capacitance, that means we are using a contact like a, a metal wire or a copper wire, whichever we are using, we are choosing that wire which will be having low capacitance value so that it will it can charge and discharge very quickly. So stray capacitance charges and discharges very quickly because of this reason ECL is the fastest logic family among all the logic families okay it is the fastest logic family fastest logic family among all among all so that means TTL, CMOS, DTL, RTL among all these logic families the emitter coupled logic is the fastest logic family because we are choosing the wires, metal wires, contacting wires, internal connecting wires all these are having low capacitance and very low output impedance and currents are very high Okay, because of all these features it will be coming under very fastest logic family. 
the limited voltage swing another important feature is limited voltage swing limited voltage swing limited voltage swing is nothing but see limited voltage swing that is the reason it is in non saturation region okay suppose if we are giving extreme ends of the voltages then it goes into the saturation but here we are providing limited voltages so that's why it is in non saturation region so now let us see ecl family is not as popular and widely used as the ttl and mos except it is very uh, uh, in very high frequency applications i told you it is a fastest logic family okay where its speed is superior <coughs> it has the following drawbacks ecl has the following drawbacks so along the along with these advantages what i have stated here like non saturation logic fast, fastest logic family and currents are very high output impedance is low stay capacitance along with these important features it is also having few drawbacks one is a very high cost as i mentioned cost is very high <clears throat> power consumption is also very high so high power dissipation high power dissipation high power dissipation low noise margin low noise margin low noise margin see low noise margin is and on uh, what is this limited voltage swing these two are these two are analogous to each other okay low noise margin low noise margin there is no much noise margin between the low voltage and high voltage swings because we are using limited voltage swings suppose in the ttl or any other logic cmos logic families we are having high noise margin because the gap is there between low and high okay so 0 to 0 to 1.5 and 3.5 to 5 that is for cmos okay that gap is there and problem of cooling problem of cooling see here we are using the ecl logic family at high currents so maximum there is a chance of getting high amount of heat so because of all these feature because of all these features we can be considering the ecl is having some drawbacks like high cost power dissipation is more and no noise margin and cooling problem is there okay due to these problems due to these problems ecl is not much frequently considered but it should be considered where the fastest logic family is required hope you understand <clears throat> though it is having few drawbacks but it can be considered where we need fastest logic families okay now see still the ecl is used in super fast computers and high speed special purpose applications so ecl is considered in super fast computers and high speed special purpose applications special purpose applications so ecl gates can be wired or no noise spikes are generated and complementary outputs are also available now let us see some important features of this uh, ecl transistors will never saturate as i said earlier speed is high the propagation delay ppd propagation delay is equal to 1 nanosecond if you compare the remaining logic families the propagation delay is very 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 less in this particular logic family in the remaining logic families we have seen 50 30 like that but it is only 1 nanosecond that's why it is fast and the logic levels important thing is logic levels are negative logic levels logic levels are negative logic levels are negative 
that means minus 0 0.9 volts for logic 1 and minus 1.7 volts for logic 0 okay minus 0 0.9 volts if you are giving in the input then the transistor is said to be in on state because it is logic 1 if you are giving minus 1.7 uh, in the input the transistor is said to be knock because it is logic 0 okay the logic levels are completely contrast with respect to the previous and uh, other logic families here the logic families are complete logic levels are completely negative okay logic levels are completely negative which are quite contrast with the other logic family other logic families okay and noise margin as i said is uh, it is also very less noise margin <coughs> noise margin is just 200 250 milli volts 250 milli volts so this noise margin makes the ecl unreliable for use in heavy industrial equipment because there is very large uh, there is very small amount of gap between the logic low and high okay because of this it cannot be used for most of the applications okay fan out is also large fan out is 25 fan out is also very high it can be used to drive 25 other transistors other devices next power dissipation per gate is large power dissipation power dissipation per gate that is pd is equal to 40 milli watts which is very high per gate we are talking it is 40 milli watts how many gates such gates are there so the total current flow in ecl is more or less constant <coughs> so noise no noise spikes will be internally generated current flow in ECL is more or less constant more or less constant so because of this what happens no noise spikes will be internally generated so no noise spikes are there no noise spikes are internally generated okay now let us see the operation of this uh, ECL NOR or OR gate with respect to the circuit diagram. ECL NOR <coughs> or OR operation. See, in this circuit, if you see the first three transistors, totally divide the entire uh, circuit diagram into three stages. Let it be this one is the first stage, this is the second stage, and this is the third stage. First stage. In this first stage, all the emitters of its three transistors <coughs> are connected together. So, this is called emitter coupled. This is emitter coupled configuration. First three sets. And the second stage is having a single transistor where we are having the output from the emitter, which is a NOR op operation. <coughs> so, this is NOR output. And third stage output is a R output okay here the input a and b are applied to first two transistors in the first stage whereas the third transistors in the third transistor in the first stage is applied with minus 1.3 volts a fixed voltage minus 1.3 volts a fixed voltage see if you observe this minus 1.3 it is neither logic 0 or logic 1 see here see the logic levels where are the logic levels it is minus 0 0.9 volts for logic 1 minus 1.7 for logic 0 now we are applying a voltage which is in between these two somewhere around between these two see minus 1.3 so that's why we cannot say the transistor is completely on or off the on and off conditions of this q2 is completely depending upon the on and off conditions of this q1a and q1b hope you understand <coughs> okay so when inputs a and b are both low see when inputs both a and b are low what happens low means what is the voltage we are giving minus 
minus 1.7 q2 is more forward biased minus 1.7 leads the transistors q1 a q and b both off when both transistors are off the current which is entering into this collector makes the transistor q2 is more forward biased than these two transistors q1 a and q1 b so q2 comes into one and q1 b q1 a q1 b comes into off so these two transistors are in off state and q2 comes into off so the as it is in off state the current which is entering into this q4 and q3 is making the transistors on and off depending on the situations of q2 so the value of r2 is such that the current flowing through q2 this value of r2 is such that the current flowing through q2 puts the collector at about minus 0.9 volts <clears throat> here we will be having minus 0.9 volts therefore the emitter of q4 is at the emitter of q4 see this one this will be having now 0. Point, minus 0. 0.9 which is because of this one minus 0. 0.9 volts minus 0. 0.8 the cutting voltage of this one so totally it will be having minus 1.7 so this minus 1.7 makes the output as logic 0 because for logic 0 it is minus 1.7 okay and so the r output is low the base current of q3 passing through r1 the base current of q3 passing through r1 c this is connected at this particular point the base is connected at this particular point so this particular actually there is no connection here in the diagram it is shown like it is a connection there is no connection here okay the base is base of this transistor q3 is connected to r1 base of this transistor q4 is connected to r2 here also here also there is no connection okay i have taken this from the internet but it is having some dots at this particular point and here okay there are no connections okay r1 voltage is very small the value of r1 is such that this current puts the collector of q1a collector of q1a and q1b at around minus 1 point minus 0 0.1 volt because the voltage level is very low so the emitter of q3 emitter of q3 what will you be having now minus minus 0 0.1 and here it is 0 0.8 so now it is minus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.8 what is the amount of voltage now it is around minus 0 0.9 so minus 0 0.9 for this it is 1 that's why for 0 0 operation R operation gives logic 0 here and an R operation gives logic 1. This is logic 1. Okay, when A, B. And similarly, for 0, 1, uh, let us see the other case, which is opposite case for this one, 1, 1. When both A e and B are high, the corresponding transistors are on because they are more forward biased than Q2. See, when input A11 is given here, 11 means minus 0 0.9 here, minus 0 0.9 here, that makes the Q1A, Q1B on. And what about Q2? Q2 complete, completely goes into off state. So, when these two transistors are on, Q2 off, so the collectors of Q1A, Q1B are at minus 0 0.9. Now, it is minus 0 0.9. Here, we will be having minus 0 0.9 volts. This minus 0 0.9 plus this 0 0.8 gives 1 minus 1.7 that means an R output is 1 and this output is 0. Uh, NOR output is NOR output is it is minus 1.7 so logic 0 sorry logic 0 and it is logic 1. Okay see minus 0 0.9 here this minus 0 0.9 and minus uh, 0 0.8 that makes minus 1.7 minus 1.7 what is meaning minus 1.7 it is logic 0 okay and oppositely what happens here it is uh, uh, off state it is off state means uh, minus 0 0.1 here minus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.8 it gives uh, minus 0 0.9 so this minus 0 0.9 takes this as logic 1 
in the remaining cases also when any one of the transistors is given with logic 0 what happens simply q2 comes into on state okay say same case is coming here also okay when any one of these two transistors either a and b q and a and q and b is given with logic 0 first case is repeated first case is repeated okay so this is the way the to design emitter coupled nor and or operation with this particular configuration okay so as i said emitter coupled logic is the fastest logic family and it uses a negative logics low noise margin high power dissipation high cost with these advantages are also there disadvantages are also there so depending on the application we are using this one okay 